Chapter 6 of Rainbow in the Sky At the end of a rope, all the prairie dogs were gone. Mr. Jackrabbit was gone. Pokey stood up. The sound came nearer and nearer. Pokey looked around. Horses! Horses! he cried. I wish I could disappear. Pokey could hear the cloppity-clop of the horse's feet now. He cried out, What can I do? Run! Run! Run with the horses! called Black Crow as he flew over Pokey's head. Pokey did run. He was not a pokey little burrow now. He ran faster and faster, cloppity-clop, cloppity-clop. The horses were all around him, but he ran with them. At last, the horses left Pokey far behind and raced away. So here he is, running with the horses. Pokey was not hurt, but he was very tired. As the horses went across the prairie, cloppity-clop, the tired little burrow gladly stopped and went to sleep. Wake up, Pokey! More horses are coming, called a ground squirrel as it raced to its hole. So there he is asleep. There's the ground squirrel. Oh, dear. They are coming again, said Pokey. He could hear the horses coming, cloppity-clop, cloppity-clop. There was no place for him to hide. He began to run, but he was too tired to run very fast. Then suddenly, bang, a rope fell around Pokey's neck. Oh, he cried as down he fell on the ground. Pokey soon jumped up. He wanted to run away, but he could not run. Pokey was at the end of a rope. I roped him, I roped him, said one cowboy. There he is, roped by the cowboy. He is such a little burrow, but he will be fun at the rodeo, said the other cowboy. The cowboys had wanted to rope some of the horses, but they were happy with their little burrow. Pokey did not like the cowboys. He did not like the rope around his neck. But Pokey could not help himself, and with the rope around his neck, he followed the cowboys to the rodeo grounds. Next we will read, Which One is the Clown?